Today we're watching Mariah perform her huge hit, All I Want For Christmas Is You, live for the very first time. Kids, Treacle here, and welcome back to my channel. We are watching Mariah perform All I Want For Christmas Is You for the very first time. This is at her very well known Amongst the Lamely concert at St. John the Divine Cathedral. Mariah gave us so many incredible live performances at this, um, I believe it was a charity event, right? And we got them last year on the deluxe anniversary edition, the 25th anniversary edition of Merry Christmas, her first holiday album. And it is really, incredible to think that, that, that of course there was a moment where she performed the song for the very first time and it was her first time performing it the first time for the audience and the world to hear it and nobody knew what a monster song it was going to become so i haven't watched this since last christmas um so yeah let's do it <laughs> Because it's a live performance, I love this just, you know, little extra piano instrumentation leading up to it. <laughs> I love her hair and how bouncy it is. <laughs> That's scrunchy. love the setting this this venue just amazing very very appropriate for the live performances she gave especially joy to the world we love that one Sounds so good. Now, I am not technically knowledgeable when it comes to the technical side of, of music and singing. But is this, guys, help me out in the comments because some of you will know, I'm relying on you here. Is this in a lower key or is this the original key? Is it this performance? This performance and the Tokyo Dome ones, they both hit me as not sounding the same. Is it like a semitone lower or is it the same? Is it just that it's their first time singing it and I'm listening to her in her 1994 voice singing it? It just sounds a little bit different, but also, it, it just looks very, not strange, but this is a song that I think of like big camp commercial production. And it was almost like some of the songs that she sang in at uh, St. John the Divine really fit, like Joy to the World. And then this one, it just looks like a weird setting because she's in, you know, with the church and all the candles and, you know, 2020 Mariah would never in a church with this song, it would be outside or in a tv studio dancers and you know think of the apple tv special um so it's just a little bit strange to see it in a church with candles but she sounds great there's a picture in the backup dancers from the black and white video version <laughs> full-on girl group vibes This is sounding more regular now, we're a bit further in. Maybe it's the Tokyo Dome one that's a little lower. It just sounded a bit weird or different at the start. A very early 90s Mariah. 
set. Legs fully covered. It, it just strikes me as strange to see Mariah performing it in front of an audience and they're just kind of, you know, <laughs> they don't know the song. It's, isn't that a weird thing to, can you imagine like meeting someone now that doesn't know the song? That would be weird. But here is a room full of people and none of them know the song. <laughs> it's a different world. <laughs> Those bits sound a little bit empty because she has like the doubling of her voice that she, there's a couple of backing bits that are her backing vocals, not the backing singer's backing vocals. Just a couple of little bits there. Um, I'm sure you know which bits I mean, but yeah, because it's a live performance and there's no playback, so they haven't put, put in the extra backing vocals by her. So it's just her on her own, which is why it just sounds a little empty in, in those parts. Here she goes. How does it end? How does she end? I can't remember. That bouncy, bouncy hair. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very, very, very sweet ending. <laughs> Some of my favorite parts when she does the song live, it's the ad-libs, it's the end, and it's almost like how much time have they got for the song? Because I could take a solid 60 seconds after the, the big finish of the song. I can take 60 seconds of riffing and ad-libs and just repeating, I love all that. Um, yeah, and how she breaks it down and gives it a nice little soft finish. It's so strange to look back at a very early performance of the song, but this is where it all began. This song has been part of my Christmas and your Christmas and so many people's Christmases for many, many years, but it had to start somewhere and here we are in 1994. I'm really in the mood now to go and watch the rest of the performances from the Sir John the Divine concert. I think I'll put that up on my TV screen and have a whole moment enjoying that concert. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future content. And don't forget, I am on Instagram and on Twitter as TreacleTots. Go ahead and follow me and I'll see you back here for another video. Cheers, thanks a lot.